We're just coming out of winter and I've left my lawn in a state of disrepair for about the last six months to highlight some of the problems faced by the average lawn owner. And I'm going to take you through the processes of how to repair some of those issues. So here we have a really good example of worm casting on a lawn and what tends to happen is that the uh, worms leave these casts at the top surface of the lawn and someone comes along and treads on it or the mower rolls over it and here we go, we get this cap on the surface of the soil which the grass finds really hard to push up through. Hopefully the ball here will show you um, how uneven the surface is. We had a soakaway installed last year and the soil has now sunk um, so we're going to address, address those issues um, with some top dressing and get it a nice smooth surface again. Here you can see at the edge where the plants have overgrown last summer and the grass hasn't grown back so I'm going to attend to that and also probably replace some of that edging which has become uh, a little less straight than desired um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Here you can see these rather broad leaved grasses and what we would refer to as weed grasses in the lawn uh, so I'm going to attend to those probably remove them and reseed them uh, so I get a uniform appearance over the lawn. So with the introduction of a new building in the garden last year, there's a natural desire line from house to door um, and that creates uh, a well-trodden path where those worm casts we talked about get smashed and we create lots of capping on the soil surface. So what we're gonna do is have a look at those, aerate the, aerate the soil, get some air into it, um, and reseed. And as with most lawns, we get the occasional weeds, so we're going to be showing you a, a couple of solutions for getting rid of these, both organic and chemical. And here you can see some damage from uh, a couple of dogs that I've got. Um, this is one of their natural spots that they like to use, and the grass has got no chance of growing there, so we're going to have a look to address these as well. Most of the work we're going to do here is done in the spring and early summer and that's going to provide you with a lawn to be proud of for the rest of the year. So we're here to address a couple of issues on my lawn here um, today. I had some failing edging um, that I'm going to replace with some steel edging. What's happened is that the weight of the soil has drifted and pushed the uh, edge outwards. So I'm going to address that as well as the levels. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna deal with these weed grasses which have grown in from the edge. Okay, so this edging is pretty easy to install. It slides in, you just bend this through and those two are attached. Okay, and because I'm dealing with a slight change in level here, what I'm going to do is use these extenders on the bottom of the edging, which sit on the spikes. I'll put those periodically on there. And then we can use this 10 mil rebar to sit through, and that will be driven into the ground just to give it a little bit more support because of the uh, change in height we've got here. So for the last bit, we've got a, a full length which we need to cut down. Um, manufacturers uh, on their guidance say that it's best not to cut, but I always prefer to because it gives a nice clean finish at the end. I'm just scratching it here. And then that will show me where to cut. So because my grass is not level and I have a dip, I have to put my line in straight and level, and then I will work my grass to that level. Right, I think that's good enough for my lawn. Now that's done, I can turn my attention to preparing the lawn before I bring my levels up. Clearing debris is first on the list, followed quickly by mowing. This is going to be the first cut this lawn's had this year. Um, and it's one of the only times I'd advocate cutting a lawn really short. And that's because we're going to work on it afterwards and do some overseeding. And working the overseeding um, of the seed and the soil in afterwards is much easier without the lush top growth on the surface. The 
Okay, so I've edged the lawn, I've cleared it, mown it, and now I've just aerated it. And the reason I do that is to breathe some life into the soil. And what I've done is put thousands and thousands of holes. You can see how deep the solid tines go, and that'll help water, fertilizer, and air ingress, and also unimpeded root growth for the plant. Now I turn my attention to bringing up the soil levels to create that nice, even surface before the seed goes down. Next is using the seed slotter, making thousands of tiny holes on the lawn for my seed to drop into. And the last two jobs of the day, fertilising, and finally, watering. My lawn is like any other, and this renovation is a process. And because of my dogs, I have found myself having to reseed some areas. And as you can see here, um, their own personal sand pit I've had to redress and reseed, and hopefully their interest now has waned somewhat. We also have another couple of smaller areas which didn't take quite so well in the first seeding, and that's probably due to the distribution of seed. Um, it could either have been birds pecking it or the seed wasn't there in the first place, but I've addressed that by putting some more um, seed down in those areas. I'm often asked by a lot of our customers what to do about dog urine. Now I'm a dog owner and I'm really fortunate that both my dogs are willing to go on this post alone. That means I have about a square foot of my lawn that actually comes under stress. Um, but what I would say to most of my customers is that if you can train your dog to go in one place, that's got to be your answer and that avoids all those spotting areas on the lawn. Six weeks on from renovation and our desire line has now disappeared. Our worm casts are no longer evident. Our weed grasses have been dealt with by re physically removing them. And the grass is now growing up to the edging, the new edging that we've, we've put in. And that just needs to thicken.